yo, you know they're talking trash about her. Oh, new room. Oh, okay, we got a deluxe class, baby. Let's go. Is the waterfall for showering? <laughs> no, we're just that extra. <laughs> Bro, they need to give her a new outfit. What is this? It's got freaking tears in the jacket. Come on, that's supposed to be ridiculously comfortable. <laughs> oh, hello. Who is that? King Micah, my husband. Her he husband? Hold up. The husband? One of the first to do the rebellion and one of the first to, like, die? Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. This explains so much right now. No wonder the mom's, like, kind of crazy when it comes to glitter going out and about. Because, okay, I'm glad they did this. This makes so much sense now. Like, you know, I thought the mom was just a little, like, overprotective being a mom thing. But nah, brah, she lost the husband. If she lost her daughter Glimmer too, oh no, it'd be done. She'd be in ruin. She'd, like, end up cutting one of her wings and she'd turn into, like, a Sephiroth over here. Oh no. Wow. Okay. This... I'm glad they added this. I'm glad they added this. Because I really thought it was just going to be, like, a mother-daughter struggle type of thing. You know, respect me, respect that. Nah, bro. Freaking dad died. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Glimmer's pretty cheery and, and stuff. Well, hmm. Did she really not know him too much? Or is she just like, I want to prove myself like dad, even though he got mopped in like the first battle or something? I don't know, but interesting lore nonetheless. I'm sorry, but she just looking way too fine. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized this. She ended up, you know what? Because she's probably slept with Catra all this time. She wasn't used to sleeping alone. And she slept without any other people around before oh yeah see oh know? weekly meeting with the other generals okay now all the kingdoms keep to themselves other than spinnerella and natasa hey guys oh all right hey we still got some squatties oh they don't even know what they do why are they here oh this is my see hold on you have not got that character development yet oh it was her dad's chair oh bro get the chair out of there i received a distress call from princess perfuma princess <laughs> princess perfuma <laughs> <laughs> you you can't make this stuff up. Well, actually, you kind of can. Oh, she needs help. You can send me a Shiraz. I won't disappoint you. Dang, these guys are just trash. That guy's gonna be the Ron Stoppable. Oh no, oh, you'll be talking all that crap. She left us. She left me. Learn the truth, Katra, even if I have to drag. Ooh, what the heck? Dang, she really wants Adora for some reason. Hold on, I got a dress to impress, Superman. <laughs> yeah, there you go, the super strength. Uh-oh, hold on, we gotta clear the smoke. Princess Perfuma? Ooh, I like the design. Ha-ha, <laughs> I am here. The universe has heard our pleas and- Oh, so these guys just be vibing out here. And the source of all my magical powers. But we don't dwell on the negative. Ah, all the positives in life. Oh, she needs to recharge too? Okay. You have disobeyed my orders. This man really do be looking like Dracula. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is she so fixated on Adora and the freaking main villain isn't? I, I thought the main villain would be obsessed with trying to get her back, but she cares about her more. Is this like a double agent of some kind? What is going on? She's what? Does, does Adora know like what's behind that mask or something? What is going on? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I could theorize about it and make a ten-minute unnecessary video about it, but I'll leave that for my Kingdom Hearts stuff. I was like, I don't care about her. I just want to run this place. Why does this man look like Bakugo? Ah, yeah, I can take your magic away immediately. She is stressing over Adora. Why? Oh, God, see, I knew something was wild underneath that skirt. Nah, we won with nature, bruh. Yo, these guys are a bunch of hippies. That's hilarious. Bro, are we going to deal with that? Oh, oh, she doesn't know how to do that. I grow plants. That's kind of useless. All we want is to live peacefully in our- Damn, no pressure. I don't know what I'm doing, what the hell is this? Try spitting, it worked for Steven Universe. That's Ooh, okay. Ooh, Rainbow Blast? Bro, if she gets healing power, she's gonna be OP. Ooh, she can shoot with stuff with the sword? Focus your chakra. Okay, and don't do that. but I'm useless no matter what form I take. Oh no, they took the crystal from the Tree of Life? Be one with the tree, Shira. Maybe vape a little bit, I don't know. Oh, it's making it worse! Exposed! Damn, all hope is lost. 
All Might, where you at? They're using one of their machines to poison your land. We have to believe the universe. You want Shira to fix everything, but you won't even try to save yourself? We leave today. Damn, they really ain't about that violence life. We like you because you're our friend. <laughs> Damn, they look pretty good in the outfit. I mean, no, that's evil. Oh, wow. Sephiroth ain't gonna like this. Right. Bro, forget relying on a hero. You need a hero up yourself. A note, a letter, just a little speech changes everything. Don't they recognize her? Oh, okay, hold on. We got the Hashirama cell? <laughs> Teleporting bit. Yeah, there you go. Man, I'm never gonna get over that. That's just way too hype. Ooh, all right. Ooh. Oh, hey, wow. There you go. It's like, I feel the power. Bro, they're just flowers. Think what all the princesses united could do. But I get to hit more people with flowers? I get to hit more people with flowers? <laughs> Bro, she better do like a solar beam or something. Attacked by Adora. Oof. And she right. I'll bring her back in, I swear. That is your mission. Dang, what is her obsession with Adora? Gotta know. Don't spoil it, you son of a bitch. Hey. So Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This might actually be my favorite episode so far. I mean, what, this is like, what, like episode four or whatever, but... Alright, out. Yeah, there you go. Okay, recruiting all the princesses. We're gonna get the five great shinobi out here. Yo, <laughs> I love it. I like it. Okay, it's gonna be really interesting to see all the other types. I mean, all right, so we had the peacekeepers, the, uh, you know, we're, we're just chilling. We vibing now here. We live in the good life, the flower people. Okay, you know, it, it makes sense that out of, I guess, everybody else, these guys would, I guess, be like the most maybe timid into going to battle. I mean, come on, they're living the flower life or whatever, you know, flowers, peace. Harmony, tranquility, love, you know, it's what you use when <laughs> you screw up your relationship over here. <laughs> Flowers, they're nice, but they don't really last that long. I never really understood that. Go for chocolates, my guy. I mean, people love eating. So anyway, um, more importantly, okay, cool. We've got, um, I'm horrible with names, but we got her on her on our side. Yo, damn, she got the Hashirama cells. You know, I was, first I was thinking Flowers. I don't really see how it's going to be too useful, but if she can, like, legit use, like, vines and stuff like that, okay, hold on. That's actually ridiculously OP because, you know, there's earth everywhere around you. Well, unless, I guess, like, you're in a des desert or whatever, I don't think you're going to find too much plant life, but with plants, okay, yeah, I can see that actually being pretty good for a couple things. Not to mention if there's, like, certain different types of flowers, like, I don't know if there's, like, a poisonous one or something, maybe she could summon that. Okay, I could actually see her being ridiculously useful especially with the vine whip tactics oh yeah you know tying people up together i like her i like their little village or whatever oh what was it? it was like the flower i forget what the name of the kingdom was the kingdom was but <laughs> everything is so princessy about uh, about this i find it absolutely hilarious so okay uh, of course we learned a little bit more about um glimmer's dad and okay so glimmer's dad was still alive when uh, Glimmer was still like a little one or whatever. So that's interesting. Uh, that's a good thing to know But it's so funny they have all those chairs and everything but no one go we're literally trying to recruit the Justice League over here So that's cool. I like how that we're gonna have this mission. You know, I always say teamwork makes the dream work ladies and gentlemen But holy crap, what is with Shadow Weaver? What is going on with this chick? She is obsessed with Adora I maybe she knows about like some some crazy prophecy that like Adora is the key to this Adora's why is Adora the key? Does, does Shadow Weaver low-key know about Adora's whole She-Ra thing? Because the fact that this side character, I don't want to say side character, but like, you know, um, the manage, the, uh, what, what is it, the assistant manager is more obsessed with Adora than the actual manager has me really scared. And I just, I can't, I'm really, I don't know. Why is she obsessed with her? I don't know. I feel like she made a deal or a contract or something. And she's like, uh-oh, I need this girl back for whatever. Maybe she's got her own nefarious plans that involve Adora. Uh, Katra is officially the leader. Will everyone actually listen to her, though? I don't know, but that's funny how Shadow Weaver is like, listen, I don't care what the freaking summon skull manager guy is saying over here. You are going to locate Shira. That's going to be your mission. Man, I just, I, I want to see, uh, I can't wait for the whole reunion thing with Katra and Adora, uh, 
clashing together, this and that. Ooh, man, that's going to be interesting to see nonetheless. But, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. There's really not much else to say. You know, cool, we finally, we get it out there. Adora, you know, needs to learn, I guess, that she isn't going to be the she everyone expects. This is, this is all new. This is she next generation over here. <laughs> We got we got the new new squad, new people, new okay, yeah. This looks like it's gonna be a good time. I can't I just I cannot wait to see the other kingdoms. But okay, Adora also having some other new power, so she can transform things with a rainbow blast. She can shoot a blast out of her sword. Bro, how many abilities does this chick have over here? And apparently she's got healing. Um, okay, bro, she's gonna be OP when she does that, but I wonder how the healing's gonna work. Is it just gonna be an energy thing, or is it gonna be like Steven Universe? She's gotta spit at somebody and heal. <laughs> I don't know, questions, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Characters, really funny. The whole tone and everything just fit. It's literally light versus darkness, which I find absolutely hilarious. But the lore, oh yeah, there's some crazy lore in here. I just can't wait to see what goes down. So guys, I want to know in the comment section below, of course, is what did you think of this episode? What do you think of this princess joining the squad? I forgot her name. Is she one of your favorite ones? I, clearly, there's going to be more out there. I don't know. So don't spoil things for me. Uh, I read the comment section. If you don't think I do, uh, I read them. So, you know, guys, uh, leave all your comments in the comment section below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big, massive thumbs up. That helps me in the channel out quite immensely. You're on a break. Follow me on my Twitter. Same thing on my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. Also on Instagram, which is Matt Swag. One, two, three, four, five, where I post all the good stuff. Discord link will be in the description below. So until next time, guys, I will catch you later. So peace.